Hi, I'm Ross Butler. I am Zach Dempsey from 13 Reasons Why. And I'm Devin Drewitt. I play Tyler Down on 13 Reasons Why. Streaming on Netflix. Now. Today, we are going over fan theories that you guys sent to us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. Go so, we're gonna get this, this big guy. Is Hannah a ghost? Once and for all, is Hannah a ghost? Or are her appearances solely to demonstrate that her memory is haunting Clay? Hannah, in our show in season two, Clay sees her as kind of, uh, it's kind of Clay's consciousness and, and his memory of her. A manifestation. It's a manifestation of his thoughts and, and his memories of her so that he can work through his, his trauma and, yeah. uh, and his is working to, to let her go. Next one. Let's do it. Ooh, that was smooth, buddy. Good job. Zach and Alex are totally a thing. One of the most oh, popular they? theories circulating the internet right now is that Zach and Alex are into each other. Evidence to this possibly includes when they dance together in Alex's room and how Zach carried Alex's bag for him, not to mention that scene in the locker room. That... I know what scene he's talking about. No, I, I think they have just, they have a bromance. Um, I wouldn't even like say Like ours. <laughs> Everyone yeah. is allowed to be friends and have platonic relationships. Friendships are cool. We're young teenage boys. We have no idea we though. We got the hormones flowing through through our, our blood. And sometimes you, you pop you pop a broner. Hashtag Zalex forever. Han always loved Zach, even after everything. After learning the history of Xana, Fans were really upset that Zach had a dedicated tape in the first place. He had another chance to save her, and uh, I think he had a pretty good chance to save her, and, and well, he didn't. Because I think after your episode in season two as well, um, I think it's that much more hurtful what Zach did to her in season one because of their close relationship to be hurt. Uh, you know, because that's like the second that's time that I Zach think. has hurt her. That's why I thought like after the season, people wouldn't like Zach as much because it's like he had another chance. Yeah, and he had because he hurt her. He hurt stronger her. reason to do it and. And he didn't, so. That was really loud. Go for it, buddy. Okay. Killing. Wow. Uh, Zach used blue ink on the Polaroids to keep his identity a secret. Hannah numbered her tapes with blue nail polish, and Zach wrote with blue marker on the back of the Polaroids. Coincidence? Or was this a way of keeping Clay and the others distracted? Did he want them to think the pictures were sent by Hannah? I think Zach knows the importance of the, the blue nail polish. I think Zach's not smart enough to, to make that. I, I disagree. I think Zach uh, is, a, is a sensitive boy who knows Hannah. Yeah, I think he I, knows I don't, that, that I don't she think, likes that color. I don't think he was on purpose. I think it's just when you get Sharpies, there's blue ones and black ones. Mostly. And red and silver. Okay. And green. Well. And yellow. I think, I think the, the blue had nothing to do with Xana. I don't think I don't think the blue had anything to do with Xana. Yeah, I, th I think that's reading a bit too much into it, but I also think that it is possible. I don't think Zach was trying to make the poets seem like they were from Hannah because that's twisted and no. weird. I think Zach keeping it a secret was just le ma making them anonymous. I mean, who's gonna think like, Zach's leaving these poets? Right? Theory debunks. Your turn. Great. You see that? That's it was still on there, man. That was still cool. Mr. Porter isn't done with Bryce. Since both Mr. Porter and Bryce Walker won't be back at Liberty High next year, there's a theory going around that Mr. Porter will follow up with his promise to keep girls safe from Bryce and will accept a position at Bryce's new school. Hmm. That's interesting. I feel like that's not going to happen because Mr. Porter was fired from Liberty. Liberty. And yeah. if Bryce went to a new school, it would probably be like in the same area. Yeah. I think Porter's definitely, whatever Porter goes on to do, I think he's definitely going to yeah. carry these experiences with him and he's going to want to make the world a better place for people like Hannah. Not but, necessarily at Bryce's new school. That's a little contrived. It's a little, it's a little clingy. I think Porter definitely makes an effort in, uh, in season two with the uh, ass class, alternative oh. strategies and solutions. Yeah. Um, and his, you know, willingness to learn and be there for people like Jessica and uh, people that, that needed his help. So I think he's probably going to, and spread his influence and maybe get a job somewhere else that'll take him. Agreed. He definitely wants to help kids. Whoop. Ah, see, in the first one is great. Good job. Season three will be all about VHS tapes. Fans are convinced that because the first two seasons centered around cassette tapes and Polaroids at season three, 
if there is a season three, will also include some form of old school technology. A fan with the username at DanLynch94 is convinced VHS rentals will be used. Well, Dan Lynch, hmm. 94, uh, it's possible, I would say. I love VHS tapes. It's possible. What other, like, uh, retro... Pokemon cards. Game Boy Advance cartridges. I was thinking maybe, like, compact discs, you know. Like... That's dumb. My idea is better. VHS tapes, it's a possibility. Next one's you. Is it? Yeah. Go for it. Yes, that was so cool. Clay will protect Tyler. At the end of season two, Clay is left outside of the school holding one of Tyler's guns. One theory is that Clay will take the blame for everything in order to protect Tyler. Would Tyler let Clay do something like that, or would Tyler come out and admit it all? I th yeah, I think Clay will protect Tyler, but I don't think he's taking the fall for anything. I think when we leave Clay, you can hear the sirens, but we don't see the lights yet, I don't believe. I don't think they're close enough. I think Clay has time to possibly run and stash the gun somewhere. I doubt that they said specifically who had the gun. Yeah, it was probably like somebody it's called the police like, and was like, It was like, hey, hey, I think someone might be showing up with a gun. Yeah. Or I heard a classmate has a gun and is coming to the dance. And then... I don't, no, think, Clay, I, but I don't think Clay would take the fall. I don't think he's going to take I don't think anyone's taking the fall. I don't, I don't think... But for I this think they're going to come, theory, they won't find anything. I'd say... I, no. I think that it'll be about Tyler's... I think Clay will just want to help Tyler recover and... You know, figure out, you know, yeah. how to get through the trauma that he's been through. I think anybody who's gone through what Tyler has deserves some help. I think, you know, mm -hmm. people in our society need to, you know, be able to access the help that they need and, and be able to discuss them. Hey, Tony takes Tyler to the Bakers. At the end of season two, Tyler gets in Tony's car to escape the cops. Clay never says where they're headed, but some fans believe Tony will take Han Tyler to Hannah's house and ask Miss Baker to help hide him and stop her from going to New York. Miss Baker would want to protect another troubled student, and she trusts Tony. That's cute. I like that. Uh, I like that idea. I don't know. I think, yeah, Tony and and Olivia definitely have a close relationship, and I can definitely see Olivia wanting to protect another kid. Um, but although I feel like to New York, I feel like she's. I feel like she's kind of set on she that. She wants to go to New York. I don't think that he's taking her to the big. Why? I mean, Tyler and Miss Baker don't really have a. They don't, they don't have any type of. Yeah. Well, I I don't know. I Tyler on the stand was truthful about Hannah and and what he did, and he admitted to it. Um, so maybe that there's some sort of, I don't know if there's any animosity there between Mrs. Baker and then, and, and Tyler. But uh, I, I don't know what Tony's in, where are they going? You just take him through in and out. He's just, just like, bro, you need yeah, to settle down. Yeah, he's gonna get him a, like a Neapolitan Talk to me, and, man, uh, what's going on? And, uh, just calm him down. I, li I like the idea that Tony's taking Tyler to the cliffs that he took Clay to, to rock climb and just scream his frustrations out. I like that one. I think they're going to, to Chuck E. Cheese. I was literally about to say Chuck really? E. Cheese. Yeah, I was looking that at you. That must be it like, then. That Ross must be is Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Or, yeah, just to like play in the ball pit and get out that frustration on, on, on the... The little bicycle with the balloons. What? Do you not know that? It's like a little right. bicycle with balloons on it and you pedal and it lifts you up in them. Have you ever had those Lunchable pizzas? The ones that like... Put the sauce on and you spread cheese on it, and it has like the the meat pepperoni slices that aren't really meat. It tastes like cart. Anyway, we're done here. we got off topic. We're done here. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and sharing your fan theories with us. We've really had a good time discussing them. It's been great. I'm Ross Butler. I'm Devin Druid. And goodbye. Subscribe to 17's YouTube page. Comment with some more theories. Maybe we'll come back and talk about them. Maybe won't. Maybe not. Maybe won't. We're out.